We are here today in New York during Climate Week and the UN General Assembly, coming together with CEOs and executives from all walks of life to hear directly from them on how they can help to create sustainable impact through their businesses. Electrify everything is a phrase we're hearing more and more these days. And as that effort accelerates around the world, industries are looking for innovative ways to cut their emissions and turn up their sustainability. Hey, good morning, Steve. Hey, good morning. Paul Beban. Steve Horniak, pleasure. Great to meet you. Today, we're joined by Steve Horniak. He's the president and CEO of Turntide Technologies, a company at the leading edge of this movement. Turntide built its reputation designing and manufacturing cutting edge electronic motors, power electronics, and energy storage systems. So what, what's your background? How did you find yourself in this industry? <laughs> Prior to this, I was uh, a senior executive with General Motors okay. and uh, chief commercial officer for Bright Drop, their electric light commercial group. Got it. And uh, recruited, was recruited to come over here and basically take this company to the next level of growth, focusing on the electrification platform for everything that moves. Today, Turntide is setting new standards across multiple sectors, helping manufacturers worldwide transition to electric power and turn the dial towards a sustainable future, all while remaining committed to growth, social inclusion, and environmental protection. So Steve, is this your first time to Climate Week? No, I've been here before. You have? Yes. Okay. Great event. Great event. And a and lot of opportunities, obviously, to, to, to see is, what's it's happening. Great, it's great talking with a lot of people that have similar ambitions in leveraging and just making the world better for everybody else. Gotcha. Well, you know, that, that actually leads me right into my first question. It, it sounds like, from what I understand, that Turntide has really been on a journey, right? From yeah. being, you know, uh, started out as a manufacturer of one kind of equipment, but now you're shifting to a whole new gear. It is. It's an interesting company. I've only been on board for three months. Okay. So I'm relatively new, but the company actually started back 2013 as uh, SMC, so it was focusing on smart motors for buildings. And the okay. whole premise is actually true. It was if we bring smartness to the motors that drive HVA systems on buildings, we can drive down the electrical cost by bringing the efficiencies up. And that worked out well. But what we found was that there was a whole nother opportunity. So as we look forward, we kind of played it forward. In 2020, the company actually rebranded to Turntide. So that's when Turntide started, really, okay. was 2020. 2021, we started with a, a number of acquisitions, and we were going into the whole electrification platform space for all things that move. And it was interesting is they were able to find three cutting edge companies, all very, very close to each other in Northern UK. Hmm. And it was in the areas of motors, electric motors, power electronics, and power storage. So if you think of it, it's kind of like, I, I call batteries the blender and the brains. <laughs> right, so yeah, I mean, it sounds like that, that was just a natural sort of, of acquisition to bring those three companies together under an umbrella of a company that was already experienced with electric motors, because everything's going electric. Right, it was an evolution, I'll say an evolution versus a revolution right. of the company and where the market is going. And as opposed to having independent components and then having people Whenever people come into a new market, they're looking at their technology partners to actually bridge that gap and pull together the solution for them versus right. them pulling the pieces together. They're looking for a whole product solution right. as you move into a new product. So this allowed us to come on board and say, hey, we've got this whole platform for you and we can work with existing pieces of the platform that you have as well in your whole journey to electrification. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, speaking of that, what I'm curious about is, you know, you're highlighting a lot of these innovations. How is Turntide differentiating itself in such a dynamic and fast changing market? Uh, it's interesting to note that. So there's a lot of people playing in this space, but right. where we're focusing on, I'll, I'll give you a couple examples. So in the electric motors area, what we actually have is what's called an axial flux motor. Okay. And if you think about it, the traditional radial motors, you take that and you spin the axis of, of the magnet. So we're basically flipping it around and we're creating an almost a wafer-like product. Think of it as like the weights in a gym, if you've seen a 25 pound weight in a gym. Sure. Stack two of those together and you kind of have this, this cylinder. Well, that, that cylinder, that about that size and about 50 pounds, actually can produce upwards towards 130 horsepower and weigh less than 50 pounds. That's wow. half the weight that's double to four times the amount of power density that you have in axial, radio, uh, axial f um, flux motors. And if you look at it versus its uh, ICE or internal combustion alternative, they're, they're 10 times the size, 10 times the weight, 
and obviously burning fossil fuel versus electricity. So in the whole world of axial flux motors, this is absolutely a breakthrough technology. And what's held it back in the past is it's been expensive. Hmm. So what we've been able to do at Turntide, since we acquired existing companies that have been manufacturing and working on this technology for many years, if not many decades, is we've got a breakthrough in total cost of ownership that are allowing people to move to this next generation of product. Smaller, lighter, and more efficient. I mean, it sounds like it's checking all the boxes. It's doing everything that we need to be it doing. Is. It is. I mean, I'm super excited about it. Will brought me over here to this company. Very cool. So tell me about, you, you mentioned a little bit the, the, the integrating new systems with old systems. Obviously, that, that's a huge issue because we're not just going to turn the world off, install new equipment and turn it back on. It, it, exactly. And so you've got a number of different ways, right? There's evolutions, revolutions, transformations. Okay. And a lot of people have been looking at the move to electrification as a whole transformation mm -hmm. or, or even possibly a revolution. But it's actually an evolution. And what I mean by that, if you look at the people out there, and we focus on off-highway. Now, we do high performance on highway, but okay. off-highway. In fact, six of the top ten off-highway OEM brands are customers of Turntide. So if you think about someone that has a piece of equipment for agriculture or a piece of equipment for moving earth, are they going to want to redesign that whole platform for electrification? Right. Or are they going to use the core structure that they have and figure out a way Maybe in the beginning to go hybrid, maybe take mm -hmm. this a larger diesel engine, make it smaller, bring in electrification components, right. radically reduce the tailpipe emissions or the localized emissions, and radically increase the total cost of ownership of that particular vehicle. So it's kind of an evolution. So the size of the components and being able to be very flexible in how you integrate with existing products that are out there are absolutely critical. Yeah, yeah. I mean, working with, with the operational demands of OEMs is, is key. I mean, if, if, if you can offer something that plugs and plays with what they've already got in place, you've got a huge advantage. It, it is. And we work with a lot of system integrators as well. Okay. And these system integrators are experts in this space, and they're helping work with and take the OEMs, mainly kind of the middle market OEMs. We work with large ones, but we've got over 300 customers. And being able to take and leverage what these people know and say, okay, now I'll take this type of application and we can help bring you into a next generation of either hybrid or fully electric platform from a derivative version of what you have today. Gotcha. You mentioned a couple of times, you know, reducing tailpipe emissions. Obviously, the focus is intensely upon increasing sustainability for the long term. With that in mind, how does the company sort of balance its internal commitment with right. growth, to, with economic inclusion, and environmental sustainability? Absolutely. Let me, let me step back and address one thing. So it, it, it's kind of interesting in this whole green initiative, but unless we're, we're producing green for people's balance sheet and P&Ls, it's not going to be adopted in mass. Right. So that's been one of the biggest hurdles in there. And that's been a big focus of Turnitin, a big focus of me personally, mm -hmm. is how can we leverage this technology to not only be good for the environment, but also be good for your balance sheet and good for your P&L. So the total cost of ownership has got to work Otherwise, people will experiment and dabble in this space, but they won't adopt in, adopt in mass. Right. So with Turntide, we're an incredibly diverse company. So we've got operations, uh, a core assembly operations in engineering in, in northern UK. Uh, we've got operations in India. We've got operations in the US. We've got operations in Canada. So we're incredibly diverse from a cultural standpoint and an overall employee standpoint, which is awesome. Obviously, with the platforms that we build, we're incredibly environment conscious in everything that we do because what we're doing is bringing people through this journey into an electrified and electrification platform of the future. Gotcha. You know, it's, uh, it's interesting. I, um, I came to Turn Tide from General Motors. I was an executive director okay. with a subsidiary of General Motors called Brightrop, which is an electric light commercial vehicle. Hmm. And it really opened my eyes to the opportunities in electrifying these platforms and the importance of having a, a very efficient, small, light platform, mm -hmm. which is exactly what Termtide is doing. Small, high power density, lower energy usage, producing higher torque in all the components all the way through. Right. And because of that, it's allowing us to get more traction with customers, allowing them to get that return on investment that they need, in addition to being in incredibly environmentally sustainable. Got it. More traction, putting the pedal to the metal toward Absolutely. the future. Steve, thanks so much. This has been terrific. My pleasure. An electric solution for anything that moves, whether it's on rails, on the water, on or off road, that is what drives innovation 
at turntide technologies. And as global electrification shifts into high gear, the demand for new power systems and products is soaring. Turntide is committed to economic growth through an inclusive environment, putting electric drivetrains into the machines that are moving the world into a more sustainable future.